Hello everybody, Sanyo, Engineer, MBA and Investor and in today's video I want to talk about the latest news with type 1 diabetes program between CRISPR Therapeutics and Viacide. Phase 1 has begun with the clinical trial. We've had the first patient dose today so I want to talk about all of that in this video. Now before we jump into today's video, you guys know the drill. Do like this video, smash the like button, destroy that like button. The YouTube algorithms, you guys know how they work. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. And even if you want to go a step further, you can always join the channel by hitting that join feature underneath this channel. So CRISPR Therapeutics and Viasai announced the first patient dose in phase one clinical trial of novel gene editing cell replacement therapy for treatment of type 1 diabetes, which they put as acronym T1D. Now, just as a reminder, this is a program that is driven by Health Canada in Canada. Uh, it looks like Health Canada gave the green light in end of 2021, which we gave a video in, a, if you take a look at our video catalog, uh, CRISPR Therapeutics and Viacide got the green light. And basically today we got the news that their first patient has been dosed, right? So this is a very, very significant event because now we know that the first patient has been dosed and now it's all about data, right? Because now in the upcoming months, we will be having data to analyze, right? And just as a reminder, again, type 1 diabetes is not as serious as type 2 diabetes, but type 1 diabetes still affects many, many Canadians and many North Americans and many people around the world. In fact, I think the last statistic I saw, uh, about 1% of Canadians have some sort of diabetes issue. Uh, type 1 or type 2, I might be wrong in that statistic. We can take a look at it further. But basically, uh, the the uh, James Shapiro, basically the head of uh, the director of University of uh, Calgary, uh, when it comes to the Isolet transplant program, he said, we are excited to work with CRISPR Therapeutics and Viset to carry out its historic first inhuman transplant gene edited stem cell derived pancreatic cells for treatment of diabetes designed to eliminate the need for immune suppression. So don't forget this program here, specifically with Viacide, they have three programs. One of them is with CRISPR Therapeutics and this has no immune suppression. So basically, basically this is the best program within Viacide's pipeline. Uh, obviously this is done through genome editing, through CRISPR technology with partnership of CRISPR Therapeutics. And basically, uh, because the, the, you, you always have to think about the milestones and the long-term goals, right? With these type of program, the long-term goal is basically addressing type 2 diabetes. But to address type 2 diabetes, you need to go through type 1. And type 1 is obviously easier to, to tackle. Uh, but obviously, type 2 diabetes is a different beast. It is You can't just copy-paste whatever you did type 1 for type 2. But again, when the FDA looks at this and looking at what Health Canada is investigating with this program, likely the likelihood of them basically being more lenient and more open to hearing out CRISPR therapeutics and Viacite's collaboration to apply it in US will be a lot more if they can prove that they're successful with type one in Canada, right? So very bullish, great news. I love what I'm seeing here. Just as a reminder here, I just did a quick, quick Google search. Again, there are, ma there are many ways to look at these numbers, but the study found that 8.5% of American adults have diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and 0.5% have type 1 diabetes, right? So these are big numbers, okay? It's, you know, almost 10%, like 9% of American adults, right? 9% of American adults, that's a lot of millions of people, right? These are a lot of million people, right? And type 1 diabetes around the world is found to be 15 out of 100,000 patients. And again, you, you need to remind yourself that there is no available cure right now. The only treatment, available treatment is insulin shots. These are extremely expensive. These are not scalable. So whatever Viacide and CRISPR therapeutics are doing here, this is the first, first potential cure. Curious to see what you guys think in this video. Let me know in comments below. I'm very excited to see what's to come here. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video if you found value. Subscribe if you've not, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck to CRISPR Therapeutics and Viacide. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.